Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover a very quick topic. Uh, we're going to talk about custom collisions. This is quite a frequently asked question on the Discord, so I thought it'd be a good time to just put a quick video together to help explain how to set up custom collision, why you might want to use custom collision, and uh, how to set it up for free move and how to set it up for grid um, move, because they're two very separate processes. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up a very quick, simple map where I've got three examples where we're going to use custom collision. First, we have uh, long grass or you know, tall grass, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, the green nav lines as they go over the, um, the grass, you can see it looks very wavy, very bumpy. And that's how it's going to be portrayed when we test it in game. The other thing I've set over set up over here on the right hand side is a small little lake slash pond. Um, I've made the water perhaps a bit too transparent. Let's slightly up the opacity just a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. So you can really see the water. So I've set up a simple pool slash pond scenario you can see that currently the nav lines are going over the top of the water so we're essentially going to walk over the top of the water and then this staircase over here works fine in grid mode you can see the lines going up the stairs along to the top floor however in free move mode we're not going to be able to go up these stairs so these are three examples two for grid mode and one for free move to give you an idea of how to use custom collision for both modes and how to fix these most common issues that people have. First of all, long grass seems to be a very common question. How do you stop, you know, bumping up over every single grass as you walk through it? How do you wade through water rather than walk on the top of it? And how do you use stairs in free move? These are the three most commonly asked questions. So we're going to resolve all three of those in this video. So let's start with play testing the game as it is, just so you can see the issue we got, first of all, with these two um, sections here. So here we are in the game. If I bring the console down and I type nav on, we can see all the nav lines. So we're currently playing grid mode at the moment. So I'm basically walking the path of all of these green lines. Now, if I walk to the left and go over the long grass, you can see that I'm, my character is suddenly bumping up all over the every single voxel. He's basically going up and over them. And you can see that's reflected in the green lines. They are essentially showing you how you're going to walk as you move through these green lines. Okay, so we'll fix that. And then the other issue with the water is we're walking on the top of it like it's glass. That's fine if the effect you want is this is glass looking down into a pit. But in this case, I want it to be water. I want you to wade waist deep in the water. OK, so let's fix these first and then we'll come to the stairs afterwards, because the stairs at the moment work fine, because in grid mode, as long as the navigation lines lead up an object or a tile, then you can move up perfectly. So let's fix the grass first. So basically. What you do is you open up the model that you want to change. So in this case, I want to change the long grass because it's too bumpy. So open it up in the voxel editor. So this is the model that we want to change. And in the properties section, model properties, we want to find the collision override setting. This will be by default set to none. You want to drop this down and select model. Model is what works for grid mode custom is what works for free move mode so if you're using if your game project is based off of the grid you need to click model okay so click model and then the next thing that comes up is the collision model what model do you want to then use as the collision so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look in my tiles list for and it has to be a tile by the way it doesn't support objects so this is just for tiles only so you're going to look down your tiles list for a tile that um, is flat. So in my case, I've got grass long, but I've also got grass. 
which is just the grass tile without the voxels going up. So in other words, the difference between these two is this one doesn't have voxels coming out of the grass. So going back to our bumpy tile, we're going to set the collision model to the flat grass model. So we've set the collision of this model to the collision of this model. Okay. Now what that means is that this is still going to visually look like this tile, but collision wise, it's going to behave like this tile. Okay. So if we save that, now when you go to the map editor, you won't see a visual difference. The lines will still look bumpy. Okay. That's because in the map editor, the lines basically reflect what the model looks like. So they assume the collision is going to reflect the bumpiness of the model. However, the collision override will override that when it comes to the player actually moving through that terrain. So let's quickly test this. So here we are in game. So now if we move through the grass, you can see we're no longer bumping up and down the grass. We're treating it no different as if we were walking through flat grass, but we're now moving through the long grass. Okay, so that's how you do collision override for grid mode. And that's how you make um, bumpy grass behave like it's flat. So you don't go up and down, up and down over it. Now let's fix the water. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. We're going to go to the collision override. We're going to set it to model. And same thing again, I'm going to set it to grass. So that way, um, the actual collision of the model is going to be this layer here. So all of this is going to have no collision on it. So the effect that that will have in game is I now stand on the grass of that tile rather than the water on the top. Does that make sense? Because the water, because the collision of this um, tile here, which is basically the water on the top going down to the grass layer on the bottom, the water sections, the water voxels, don't have any collision because we've set the collision of this whole block to only be the grass um, collision. So that's where the player is now standing. He's standing on top of the grass rather than on top of the water. And it gives the effect of the player basically wading through waist deep into um, water. What we can do as well, just to show this off a bit better, is if we go into this model, which we're already in, let's remove the transparency. So instead of standing on the top, we are basically wading in the middle, standing on that um, grass tile that's on the bottom there. Okay, so that's another example of using uh, the flat model to override the collision of the visual model. Okay, let's say you didn't want to actually go that deep. You just wanted to sort of wade, I don't know, um, knee high or something like that then what you can do is make a duplicate model of this so let's just do that let's save as um water shallow or something like that and this you're not going to see this in game this is just for the collision so we'll save that as water shallow and then we'll go into this model and then what we'll do is we'll just shave off some of the um voxels let's do that with uh face mode so let's set it to about there and then save that. And then we'll go back to our water model and we'll set the collision override, not to grass, but to water shallow. Okay. So we're not, we're not going to be as deep now because we're not going to be standing on this tile. We're going to be standing on the top of this top tile. So the effect that will have in game. So if we now walk through here, you see, we're not as deep. It's like knee deep rather than uh, waist deep. And so you can affect the depth of things or the collision of things just by changing the tile that you use as the collision override yeah, the model that you use. Okay. Now we're going to have a different issue with this staircase. So let's now move to that. So as I said before, the staircase is fine in grid mode because as long as the navigation lines go up a tile, then that's how the player will, will respond. They will go up. They'll follow. They basically in grid mode, collision is more dictated by these lines than the actual object itself. So as long as the lines can go up um, or over an object, then that 
will dictate where the player can and can't go. So in this case, because there's a line going up the stairs, the player can go up the stairs. However, in free, mo in free move mode, the player doesn't use the lines, uses the physical object. So what happens if we turn free movement on, and let's just accept that, and play this map again? We can't go up the stairs because the stairs are treated like a, you know, full on block. We can't get up. So how do you get upstairs in free move mode? So what we need to do is affect the collision again of the stairs. So let's go back into the voxel editor. So for this, we can't use collision override model because it doesn't work in free move mode. Okay. What we need to do is we need to click custom. So same thing again, you open up, in this case, the staircase that you want to be able to walk up and you go to the model properties, go to collision override, change it from none to custom. This collision shapes option will then appear. You want to click the green plus button to add a shape. And for stairs, you're going to use prism. So we click prism and that will bring up this sort of thumb transparent shape that you've created, whether it be a prism or a cube, in this case, a prism. So this will appear. You can change the color of it if you want to, you know, you can use the default or you can uh, click on this and change it to red or something. It's entirely up to you what you do. We'll use default. You'll typically use the color if you've got more than one. So if we were to add a cube, for example, I might change the color of the cube to blue or something. And then it's easy to differentiate which collision model is which. Yeah. So that's why you might use uh, that. And you might even be able to change the opacity. No, you can't. So it's always transparent. Okay. But anyway, we don't need the cube. So we'll get rid of that. So how do you make, um, how do you turn this prism into a working staircase? Well, first of all, it's facing the wrong way. Okay. The, the flat surface, the, the wider surface of the prism needs to be facing the staircase. It needs to be in line with the steps of the staircase. So we want to go down to the rotation option, find the Z um, field and change that to 90. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. Now that's facing, now the sort of the flat, smooth side of the prism, the wider side is face, is in line with the staircase. It's opposite the staircase. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change this left to right option. Okay. This basically, if I do it with the mouse wheel, you can see it affects the tilt of the point at the top. So what we want to do is we want to line the point, the very point of this to the far right, uh, yeah, far right side in this case from where I'm looking. Okay. You could even go one, uh, less, so you could have it there but I'm going to put it all the way to the end. And that's, that's basically it. So now what we've done is we've essentially wrapped our staircase in a ramp collision. This is basically a ramp. And it's going to act like a ramp. You're basically just going to walk almost like gliding up the staircase. Okay. So then what we'll do is we'll save that and go back into the map. So here we are back in game and free move is on so I can move wherever I want. But whereas I couldn't go up the stairs before, now I can just effortlessly glide up the staircase and down the staircase. Okay. So that's how you resolve stairs in free move mode. You need to custom collision. You need a shape. You need it to be a prism. You need it to be facing the stairs and then tilt it so that it, so that the ramp covers the staircase going up the staircase like that. Okay. So going up, following the staircase up like a ramp. Okay. And then, uh, Anything else you want to do, let's say, for example, you wanted um, to do more custom collision, other things you could do. For example, let's remove that for the moment. You know, you could have a um, other, th other things you can do. You can add a box and then you could lower the height of it. So let's say two. And now that covers just the first step and then you could create another one you could set the height of the z to tune and then the height 
to two, and then the uh, what would it be the possibly the y to two, oops minus two. So you could kind of start to map out the stairs that way. You would still have issues with you'd need to jump to get up the stairs. The ramp would be the smoothest option, but it's just to show you that you, there are other things you can do with collision shapes. You can you can actually use the the collision shapes to actually map or model, if you will, the collision around your model. So if there are certain things that you wanted to have collision on, so for example, let's say this wasn't just all staircase, but there was also um, a side wall or something, then you could make sure that the player can't go up the side wall. Um, can I give an example of that? Let's delete these for a second. And let's make a side wall quickly. So you've got this, for example. So you would go to your model properties, collision, add a prism. First of all, rotate it 90. So it's facing the stairs. But then we need to take into account that not all of this model you can go up. So this is one voxel wide. So we want to shrink this in the Y, I believe. Let me just check by 15. Yes. And then we're also going to offset it by um, no, wrong direction. This direction by minus one. Yeah. Okay, something like that. And then what you could do as well is you could then add a further collision, which is a cube that you would set to one wide. All right, wrong one again. It's just a case of getting the right proportions. There you go, one wide. And then, um, or is that still the wrong one? Here, yeah. just trying to get the right thing here. Uh, let's set that to 16 again for a second. So we want one on here. That's it. That's what I wanted. It's just the fact that I hadn't corrected that. And then... We want to move it on this axis, I think. Let's try. No, that's up, of course. Zero and then one, possibly. Yeah, that's going in the right direction. So 16. No, that's too much. Eight. Seven. I um, might be able to do 7.5, I'm not sure. Can we get that? Yes, we can get that precise. And that's probably what we want to do for our prism as well. Because it's not quite the right size. Scale, 15.5. Um, and then 1.5. Oh no, that's too much. Minus 0 0.5. Something like that, right? So it takes a little bit of fiddling around. And then obviously we need to change the um, the left to right on the prism. I need to look at it from the top. There you go. So it takes a little bit of time, but you see what we've done. I've basically mapped out just the stairs going up, and then I've collisioned off the side so that you can't then also go up the side. Let's see what effect that has in game. So in theory, we should be able to go up the stairs normally. But at any point, if I try and go off the side, I can't because of that collision on the on the the, the side wall. Yeah. So that just gives you an idea of, and you would do if you want a wall on the other side, you just repeat the same thing I did with this wall, but on the other side as well. But that's just to give you an idea of how you can mix and match collision shapes to model your collision around objects as well or tiles. And that will uh, bring to a conclusion this video on collision custom collision for both grid mode and free move i hope it helped i hope um, if you have any questions obviously do feel free to ask on the discord i will upload this project onto the wiki so that you can download it and play around with it but for now i'll wrap up this video thanks for watching